In this review we're looking at a dump trailer and if you want to dump your load kindly wait to the end of the video. This model is made by First Gear and it's in windowed packaging and it consists of a Kenworth T880 with an East Genesis end dump trailer. This version of the model is the surf blue and chrome colour scheme. The model is held between plastic formats which are taped together and when we take the top one off we can get the model out. First out comes the big east trailer and then we'll carefully remove the Kenworth tractor. This model has been shipped a long way from China to the US and then to the UK and the packaging hasn't been able to prevent a few detached parts. So we need to carry out a little bit of repair work on the review model and at the front of the trailer the two plastic mud flaps have to be restuck back on. And if we go to the back of the trailer, the various parts of the grain hatch have to be reassembled. So this is a job for our old friend Sue Perglu. And in just a few minutes, the trailer is restored to an as new condition. <laughs> Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. <laughs> For the assembly all we have to do is join up the tractor and trailer and that means slotting the kingpin into the fifth wheel. On this model the pin is quite small so it doesn't locate very securely but as long as you don't drive like a wild turkey you should be okay. <laughs> We start underneath the Kenworth and there's some reasonable detailing around the steering engine and gearbox. There are chrome tanks modelled and like the rest of the detailing here, they're modelled in plastic. At the front the Kenworth grille looks good and there's a Kenworth badge at the top. And looking at the lights and the rest of the chrome work it's reasonably convincing. Up on the cab roof there are some lights. And moving to the cab doors there's no glass in the windows. And that's a little surprising considering the doors don't open. If you look inside there's some nice detailing of the fascia. Looking to the rest of the cab there's some other small details. And the blue paint has a metallic finish. Which is also applied to the door mirrors. The chrome wheels look good. And there are chrome steps leading up to the cab. But they're not textured. But on the other hand the chrome exhausts are well detailed. There's a metal grab rail and a blue highlighted filler cap. Moving behind the cab there's a plastic chrome headache rack and there are coiled lines and coloured hoses. Moving towards the back and the rear wheels look good. And there are large mud flaps which are made in stiff plastic. Let's move on now to the East Genesis dump trailer and it's nearly all metal. For detail there's a hose that runs to the back axles. And the axles themselves are reasonably detailed. At the front things look good. And there's a hose and the access hatch is modelled. And a high point is the tiny high quality graphics. The real dump body is aluminium. And the body is certainly shiny metal. There are nice red and white stripes and landing legs. And the chrome wheels at the back look good. There's also some more detail on the body sides and that includes more tiny graphics. At the back the detail is very good including the grain door and there are nice lights but there's no number plate because this is a generic model. Starting with the Kenworth the rear axles spin freely but on the review model one of the axles is a bit wobbly. However the steering is very good it is notched with a wide range of movement. 
Straight line rolling is reasonably good, although it feels like the handbrake has been left on. But the tractor is at its best when the steering is set. You get a very good hard lock, and certainly it makes for much more interesting poses. It's always good to take a tilt forward and see what's under the hood. And for the Kenworth there's an engine which has been modelled with different coloured components. The engineering of the hood is very good, and it can hold any pose that you set. Moving on to the trailer and the rear axle spin freely. And if you want to display the trailer on its own in a parked configuration, you can lower the landing legs by unscrewing the feet. When lowered the screw thread is visible rather than having smooth sides, but the extension is long enough to level up the trailer. At the back there's a really nice feature which is an opening grain hatch. By using the small handle the hatch gets raised, and it all works surprisingly well. To close the hatch you just lower the handle back down. But if you're carrying a bigger load such as earth that needs tipping, you can open the tailgate. There's a small latch to undo and the door opens reasonably widely. And when you close it back up, you can secure it with the tiny latch. One of the more interesting features of the real trailer is the tipping mechanism. So let's give it a try on the model. As you can see, it tips up by pivoting the body on the rear axle. And it works well, but the tipping angle that you can achieve is quite limited. And it seems somewhat less than the real trailer needs to be able to achieve. The mechanism does have a nice stiffness, so it will hold any pose that you set. A model like this does look good when it's posed with others. And here we show it being loaded by an excavator. The other thing we can try and do is to simulate it actually tipping. And here we have the tipper filled with cork rocks. Let's now tip the trailer and see how far we can get. This is a decent truck model by First Gear. The Kenworth has a fair amount of plastic on it, but the trailer is almost all metal. The detailing on the trailer is particularly good, and the functionality is very good apart from the limited tipping angle. Overall, if you'd like a big US tipper truck, this one is good. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,